Hello, um, welcome to Rick's Kits. This is what I've got so far. Uh, as on the walks I was doing, um, get these focused in or not, I don't know. Not really, okay. So. Change the angle of the lights. I'm getting changed to something. Come on, really. There we are. Jeez. That was painful, wasn't it, getting that to focus. There we go. Uh, these are... Uh, um, I was going to say, some of this is still undercoated. Oh, sorry, not undercoated, base-coated. And some of it has been... Uh, next level up, which is a wash. Um... Please get in there. And I've got the back of his shield to do and these tassels on the bottom and that. Um, but yeah, this currently is still, I think it's, I think it's had a wash. Like the eyes aren't done yet. The, Metal rule for the teeth and then the tassels and that on that that hasn't been done either. Um he comes with a little stab grot. Um more. why why was that why does this one not want to become more focused? Really? So I think it's too much shiny shiny on that side. This is unbelievable. Doesn't want to focus. Okay, so you know, he's about half the size of this guy. I'll hold this one against. Might fight right there, we focus the in on the other one because it's focused that one better. So this little stab got guy is still mostly Got his undercoat colours on. Yeah, that's where I are with the little the little ones. Get them out of the way. And that actually is brighter on the screen than it is in my hand, which is quite amazing because that's how bright it should be in the end. Weird. Uh, as far as the other one is concerned, I'm just move that out of the way. As far as the other guy is concerned, there's a bit. There he is. That's the McFarlane's. McFarlane's toys. Started off. Thumbs grey, unpainted. Uh, so I've painted this one up totally myself. Got this. Big old, old door protection thing on him. Got like dark brown black stitch type uh, canvas. See the texture on the canvas, sewn together canvas um, trousers. Everything on him is gripper claw. I think that's what it's called. Got electrical. Go on there. And copper paint. Uh, they do open and close. 360 flexibility. Not that you need to know that. Um, 
It doesn't really fold or bend when it turns. And it's the same with his blaster. In blaster with his little dagger shooter or whatever they excuse me, whatever they want to call it on on that one. So he's got that on there. Again. Black and silver. Uh is a mega knob. It's called a mega knob. I don't like this. Hate this. Even though I've painted it up, I don't like it on there. It looks horrible. So here's the old brute's face. Get him in there. There we are. He's got this nice purpley scar across his left eye. Red, red eye on the other side. That's three layers of paint. So you've got a base coat, then you've got a um, a wash. But it's four colours. Uh, then you go back over with the base coat, and then you come in with a lighter. So you get this nice effect of uh, blending going on. Some stuff going on on the back. Use a bit of copper up here. That's army painter copper. Um, got a combination of paints going on here. We had the army painter war paints, um, red tones and stuff like that. Um, the greens were a combination of um, Paleo model color. And uh, Citadel, um, the Warhammer Citadel paints, and all the black and everything on here was, it was spray painted Tamiya, um, semi gloss black, because I had some left over. And I thought that was a good base to start with all the uh, the dark black. But that's him. That's a mega knob. Oh, you know. So I haven't done too bad a job since I ain't painted an orc for a long, long time. I'm quite pleased with him. So he's done. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Appreciate all you guys. See you in the next one.